A local young man's hard academic work with his science, technology, engineering, and math studies paid off in a huge way. Miles Mackey has received offers from several universities offering him full scholarships to study engineering. And he says other students can do it too. Joining us is Miles Mackey and his dad, Dr. Calvin Mackey, an engineering professor and the founder of the nonprofit STEM NOLA. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Congratulations, Miles. Thank you. This is a huge accomplishment. Um, have you made a decision yet and how many universities have offered? Well, so far I've gotten uh, scholarships from eight total uh, universities. But wow. I've gotten three. <laughs> I've gotten three full scholarship, uh, three full scholarship offers. Uh, one from USC. Um, I have a full scholarship room and board through my PhD from Howard University, and I have a full tuition with room and board from Xavier University. And with all that being said, I have decided to attend Howard University to pursue uh, a PhD in mechanical engineering. Oh my goodness, congratulations. What a huge accomplishment. Um, before I, I bring your dad in on this conversation, you know, in 2014, I remember you were like a little kid and you had these big ambitions. We have the video of that interview with you the first time you came here in off Rock State Studios. So take us back then to now. What is it that kept you so focused that you knew you were gonna stick with us even at that young age? Well, for me, uh, I was really driven by my passion for the subject. I mean, like I've, I've grown up loving STEM. And so really like just to stay interested, stay focused and to stay engaged, I've always just had to kind of like rediscover my passion. So like whether like if I'm in a science class or a math class and things get kind of tough, I mean, I just always spend time thinking about it and just learning and figuring it out. And through that process, I just, I always rediscover my love for STEM. Wow, that is amazing. Um, Dr. Calvin Mackey, you must be, so proud and understandably so great guidance from you and your wife you know you started the nonprofit stem nola to encourage more parents and students to study and participate in your stem science weekend projects and classes what are you teaching that makes science so much fun that people like your son and other kids um, want to be the next scientists the next engineers uh, liz thank you for having us and, and one thing miles didn't say he played basketball and he was all district for two years also. So wow. he's well rounded. And I say that because that's what we that's what we do with STEM. We make STEM culturally relevant to the kids. We make it engaging and we make it we make it fun. It's almost like STEM is their new recreation. So like he showed up in the gym to play basketball and set on Saturdays, kids and parents was able to show up at the gym and do STEM, science, technology, robotics, uh, chemistry, physics, whatever they wanted to do in the same facilities. And I know you've always said in the past you want uh, more minorities, you want young African Americans, males, females, minorities, focusing more on this particular field because it offers up so many opportunities to sciences. So how can students and parents watching learn and participate and, and does it cost anything? Well, they can go to stemnola.com. Uh, since the COVID pivot, we are now engaging kids in 47 states and five countries, pretty much free. Uh, uh, sponsors have come on, like we're STEM NOLA powered by Intergy, and they've given us enough resources where now kid parents can pick up kids and we mail the kids to the parents and they engage right, right, right in their homes. So we need more Americans, especially women and, Af and African Americans and Hispanics to go into STEM because the future of this country is, is in technology, is in STEM. And we have to make sure like sports country is, is in technology, is in STEM. And we have to make sure like sports we have to make sure that we have a pipeline of young people like Miles and other kids pursuing these degrees and careers. Yeah, and they're well-paying job, and they offer up such a bright future for so many kids. And, and you make it fun because some people may think, oh, I don't get science, I don't get math, but you make it fun, and you get the products like Miles. Miles, what is your advice to students who right now maybe reluctant because they think science, they think it's boring, and they think engineering, they think, oh, I can't do that. What do you say? Well, to them, I say it's really all about exposure. So, like, for example, like, not every athlete loves basketball, loves football, loves baseball. But at some point in their childhood, their parents brought them to the field, to the court, really just to get their feet wet to see if they like it. So I feel like with STEM, though, it's kind of the same thing. I mean, like, you're probably not going to fall in love with every single thing that you do. But I think that if you come to another of our events, you're going to find something that you're passionate about, and eventually you can definitely pursue that as a career. And, and definitely, it, uh, oh, right, and it opens up a whole new world, like your dad said, right, Dr. Mackey, on the final note here? Uh, uh, yes, uh, it, it opens a new world. 
I was talking to a parent recently and she said, my son likes what he likes. I said, your son likes what he's been exposed to. So as them knowing what we're trying to do is, is, is open that whole, the door up and let them see the possibilities. And when they find a passion like Miles, you know, we talk about football players a lot. And, and I'm proud to sit here to say, to say that my son have earned a full tuition scholarship, Roman Borgia's PhD because of his brain. And we have to begin to train our kids from the neck up and stop focusing on the neck down. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Congratulations again, Smiles. Have a great day.